A data breach at a large health system here in Michigan has affected more than 1 million people. Customers of Corwell Health were told about this last Friday, months after it happened. Rachel Ramsey spoke with the Attorney General about the situation, and she's here for you now with the legislation the AG is calling for. Rachel. Siobhan, this is the second time Corwell Health has had a data breach in the past seven months. This time around, it happened through a vendor of Corwell's called Health EC, who analyzes patient data. The breach happened in July, but Attorney General Dana Nessel tells me her office didn't find out about it until December. That's why she wants new laws to start holding companies accountable. There is more that we can be doing to protect people's personal information, but we have to have the laws on the books that allow enforcement. Corwell Health's data breach has compromised more than 1 million customers' personal information. That includes social security numbers and medical history, and it took months for people to find out. To know that they're, they're keeping that a secret, not telling the people who are affected, not telling the department in the state that is in charge of consumer protection, um, it's very dangerous. In Michigan, it's not a requirement for companies to alert the Attorney General's office of a data breach. Health EC was breached in July, Corwell found out in October, and the Attorney General's office found out in December. Nessel wants to see legislation that requires companies to report breaches immediately. What we'd like to be able to do is to say that, you know, look, if you don't properly secure and store data, or if you don't report a data breach, that you're going to be subjected to significant fines. That's what they do in other states but not here in Michigan. The AG says she isn't happy with Corwell's lack of transparency. We're not happy with the responses that we are receiving. We're not happy with the way that Corwell is being secretive uh, in terms of not relaying this information and not being nearly transparent enough. And obviously whatever they're doing to secure and store patients' information, it's clearly inadequate. She added, it's important to get the word out as quickly as possible so people can change their passwords and do what they need to do to protect their information. This affects one out of 10 Michiganders, just this one particular company. Um, imagine how it affects each and every person in the state of Michigan. The hacked vendor Health EC sent me a statement saying they reestablished their systems in a new cloud environment and are taking this very seriously. People affected by the breach should reach out to the Attorney General's office who can help assist you in the situation. Back to you.